of what you do, what your real job at the macro is, is to find where people's attention is and then figure out how to communicate your value prop. When I see a market like this that has decided, and this is holistically, it's not every individual person, but it's decided to go. again with another video. This was day four of the Charlie and Mike workout and I just wanted to leave this clip in here. This is me trying to figure out how to do a specific movement which um, <laughs> I did not get to figure out. I think my legs are too short for it. But yeah I just want to say that don't feel um, embarrassed to try and figure out movements while you're at the gym because that's the only place where you can figure it out is by actually going getting onto the machine and trying it out okay so the movement that i was supposed to do was the ghd hamstring raises which i couldn't figure out how to actually perform the movement correctly so i ended up doing back extensions which i mean they target the glutes more than the hamstrings for me and then of course the lower back but it, it was a good exercise I guess to compensate for not doing uh, the GHD. So this first circuit of workouts I really enjoyed. I think it was refreshing to me considering the day before I really did not like the flow of the workout with the windmills and the wall walk around kind of things. So it was really refreshing to get back into movements that I was familiar with and I felt like I could really push myself uh, cardiovascular wise. One of my mental struggles throughout this workout was that I felt like in my mind that I could be pushing myself more, but at the same time, my body just wouldn't allow me to go any faster or um, push any harder. And I think it's important to understand that it's okay to start off program slow, especially if you're not familiar with the intensity or the amount of weights that you're using. As you go on, you're going to get stronger and you're going to be able to perform these movements better. So just starting off slow shouldn't mess with your mind, so to speak. Okay, so for the second circuit, it was basically uh, four rounds of two exercise movements, which was knees to chest. I didn't get the best angle, but <laughs> you see my, my feet dangling, and then a 200 meter run. I think when the circuits incorporate some kind of cardiovascular activity, like running or rowing, I tend to enjoy 
the circuits more because I feel like I'm I'm working harder than just say static movements. All right, y'all. It is Sunday. The first week is done, and I have to say I have some thoughts. Most of it is um, based on my performance and my effort, not necessarily the workouts, because I think the workouts are good, except for that day three workout, which was kind of like, well. The main two things that I think are going to determine how well my results are, are basically my nutrition, if I can get on point, and then the effort that I put into these workouts. Because honestly, these workouts could be as easy as pie if I just always use light weights and jog instead of run and maybe just do a steady rowing. It really is up to how much effort that I put into it. And I kind of also want to go into one of the factors right now I don't have a job so being able to execute these workouts is pretty easy for me because I don't have a job it'll be interesting to see if I do get this job how I can balance that but for right now because I don't have one the balance of that is really easy so I believe I will be more successful in completing these the series because I don't have a job right now but we'll see my nutrition for this week was decent it wasn't the best I uh, Monday through Thursday and half of Friday was pretty much on point as you can see on some days I was a little bit over and then the majority of days I was under as far as reaching my macros and then Friday I ended up uh, for dinner I had some fried pork chops which was not healthy at all and then this weekend i kind of i didn't track but i know i didn't overeat at all i didn't eat until i was extremely full so my goals for next week is to really be on point as far as nutrition consuming water and executing exercises to my fullest potential i decided that i want my weigh-ins to be on saturdays because because I may have a cheat day or cheat meal throughout the weekend, I don't want that to mess with my weight. And it, to me, it only made sense to like, if I have a whole week of eating on point, or if I have a whole week of tracking macros and I'm on point on my macros, it only makes sense for me to weigh in on a Saturday with a week's worth of clean eating and then kind of relax during the weekend. So yesterday I weighed in at 141 pounds, 141.6, no weight change whatsoever. You know, mentally I'm like, well, why is it like that? Cause I basically ate less than I had ever eaten the whole entire two months prior. And then I exercised way more than I have within the past month, within the week. So mentally, I'm like, what's going on? But at the same time, I know, and this is just from past results, is that my body takes time to show on the scale than it does to see an appearance and then on top of that, just how I feel. So I did end the week feeling lighter leaner if you will like i didn't feel full of oils and fatty foods and i didn't feel sluggish i actually had a lot of energy and i was feeling lean if you will not lean as in like man check out check out these abs more like lean as in my body felt more clean and i didn't feel as heavy saturday i wasn't able to get to the gym and do the I think it was four rounds of 400 meter row followed by like a 200 meter run or something like that. I didn't do that so instead I did a 30 minute session of steady state cardio on the elliptical and I watched my home girl Nikki Blackheader. What what? Yeah um I'm pretty happy with this week's results. I got a lot of one rep max is done. I was especially happy with my deadlift one rep max and I'm really excited to see what next week will result in because um, 
the more that I'm getting into the routine of things and eating clean and feeling better, the more I want to zero in on my macros and just eat 100% healthy. I went ahead and did some grocery shopping today and got a lot of nutrient dense foods. I'm really excited. I got some protein snacks that will, uh, you know, kind of help me through the sweet sweet cravings and yeah i am excited so i hope you guys enjoyed this first week if you have any questions or comments please leave them down below if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do i'll be putting up a lot more videos as the weeks go on and just keeping you guys updated on on this review but like i said first week i was pretty happy with except for day three so on to week two i'll see you guys later.